Well, hello everyone. I trust that um, you're finding time now that summer has arrived to get out for a walk, um, take a swim, get in the boat, uh, do some things that are actually life-giving for you. And now that we're able to have our social circles a little bit wider, and uh, these have been trying times indeed. And uh, although we've experienced the same pandemic and the same, uh, we're hearing the same kind of news, we're all individuals and handling things in our own different ways. And today I wanted to talk briefly just a little bit about grief. Uh, we don't talk about grief and loss uh, much in our culture. Uh, we are mainly gatherers. We're taught how to get and to gain and to buy and to have. Uh, very rarely do you find folks who talk about loss and letting go and um, not having. And so when you think about the pandemic and what it has done to all of us and how it has affected all of us, uh, many of us have lost the routine, uh, lost friends, loss of relationships, lost families, lost income, and some small, even big businesses have lost their businesses and never imagined on their uh, vision boards that uh, this would be part of 2020 for them. And so I think it really requires uh, compassion, not only towards others, but to yourself. Uh, we often forget to take care of ourselves and look after ourselves and have uh, grace and mercy towards ourselves. And everyone grieves differently because we are individual. Uh, we'll grieve differently. And so if you're wondering why are certain people acting certain ways, some get really, really busy. Uh, they just do better being busy. Others shut down completely and numb out, uh, quiet down, don't talk. So again, just various ways of, of expressing grief and loss and, and extreme hurt and pain. I've heard people say, well, I've just changed from my nighttime pajamas to my daytime pajamas. So uh, this is a time of unprecedented uh, change. We will never uh, be the same again and maybe we shouldn't be but it's a time of reflection uh, to look at our lives and see what's important. Many, many families have said to me, we never want to go back to that rat race again. Uh, so it's been a time of reflection and putting things in priority. So not only loss of income, jobs, graduations, proms, uh, relationships, uh, some are actually grieving the loss, uh, the death of loved ones at this time and not being able to attend funerals. Uh, not being able to be the, at the bedside of loved ones who are passing on to the next life. So I really want to encourage you today to, to really exercise high levels of mercy and grace and patience uh, with others. Maybe check in with people. As things are starting to open up now and widen out a little bit, um, really we should not go back to our normal lives. This is a time to reach out and and uh, be involved in other people's lives and, and talk about how uh, they're doing. I think another question to ask would be, what have I learned through all of this? We have to have learned something through all of this about ourselves, about our neighborhoods, about our church, about our communities, and about who we are. So I'd like to encourage you today to ask the question, what have I learned through this pandemic? I'm going to leave a resource also um, at, at the bottom of this uh, video and the, vi the resource is called When It Feels Like the Sky is Falling by Dr. H. Norman Wright and uh, he's an expert in trauma. Uh, he's been involved in a lot of counseling through very big world events. Uh, it's a very, very excellent resource so I will leave that for you and so be kind to yourself, be compassionate to yourself, be patient and we will talk again soon. Have a great day.